Just a few years ago, this was NVIDIA's top of the line, top tier, bees knees, best thing in the world GPU. The question is, is it still any good today? Let's go ahead and benchmark some games and figure that out. Starting off with our first game, we have the brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2. Is it better than the old one? Well, that can be up to you. Does it have loot crates? Yes, it does. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the performance. And at 1080p medium settings, look at that! Above 60. How beautiful is that? Not that beautiful, but still impressive nonetheless. Then again, if you paid about $600 for this card a few years ago, maybe that's not that impressive. Maybe a 7970 might have been a better buy all those years ago. But anyway, whoa, 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 whoa. Anyways, 1080p low, guys. It was running very smoothly. Not exactly 120 if you have 120 hertz monitor and you're seeking that out. But hey, 100 FPS is nonetheless pretty cool to see. And my god, is this game actually optimized well. At 4K, guys, the car is not designed for 4K. There's not much to say. It just didn't work out well. So let's go ahead and move on to our second game today, and that will be Overwatch. Overwatch. How did the car perform in here? It performed outstanding, kind of. At 1080p medium settings, we got about 83 FPS. I expected better. I expected 200 FPS, but I guess Overwatch is a little bit demanding. And you know what? That's fine. But anyways, the game was roughly, oh, I'd say pretty smooth, actually, because the minimum never went below 60. And that's always nice when you see that. Because a lot of times you see average frame rates and you'll be like, wow, that's so great. And then you'll see a terrible minimum, and it's like, what's the point when you can't be above 60 24-7? At 4K, once more, boyos, this thing is not designed for that sweet, sweet 4K. The car only has two gigs of VRAM, because, you know, NVIDIA, I mean... <laughs> they don't care about VRAM. They never did care about VRAM at all. I mean, they might care a little bit today, but back in the old days, NVIDIA and VRAM, those things never went together. So, the car was never designed for it, and it's not going to perform that well. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish it off with the game that all your friends are going to force you to play if you haven't played it yet. And that, my friends, is of course, the one, the only, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Is that a perform? Well, 1080p medium settings, it was mad at 60, but hey, 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 it was playable, it was acceptable. So, though, I went ahead and bumped it down to the very low settings, and what do we get here? 68 frames. That, my friends, is playable. That is above 60, that is beauty, be beauty that is performance. And overclocked, the car doesn't overclock, let's not even talk about it. At 4K, uh... Yeah, not much to talk about either. There wasn't really much. So anyways, let's go ahead and do the conclusion. Is it still good in 2017? And also look at my beautiful title, the conclusion. It's green. Green for GeForce NVIDIA. Or GeForce. Anyways, uh, is it good? Well, my thoughts are yes, of course it is. And you should be happy if you shelled out a lot of money for this thing in the old days. It's still an outstanding card. You want to play Overwatch? You're going to be able to play that with a low-end card and this card. You want to play Battlefront 2? This thing will play it. You want to play Player Unknown's Battlegrounds? This thing will play it. You want to play Player Unknown's Battlegrounds at 8K with everything maxed out? It won't do that. But we don't need that. Nobody need that yet. We're not that spoiled yet, guys. And to be honest with you, yes, the card is still good in 2017. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any criticisms, comments, anything, anything at all, just, just leave it in the comments down below. If you made it this far, congratulations. I congratulate you. Seriously, congrats.